Hello, um, Denis De Virus here, and I'm going to bring you a tutorial on how to do um, the ground crack I do in my new one clip edit. Um, it's really simple, just a little trick I learned. You need a plugin for Cinema 4D called Thrasi or Thrasi, however you want to say it, and um, a screenshot or a video of what you want to do it to. I'm going to use a screenshot if I can load it up. Here we go, drag it in onto the textures, click no. Double click the texture, um, take specular off, create a background, drag the texture onto the background, and you should appear like this. And um, first thing you should do really is set your project to 1280 by 720 so stuff doesn't go out of perspective or however you say it. And then just line up the floor with your image. It's not too difficult if it's a screenshot. There we go, so now we've got that all sorted. You can, um, first of all, I'd create a text. Sometimes my text crashes as well. My, um, it crashes my Cinema 4D, so you'll have to bear with me. I don't know why. I've not got a really shitty PC, but oh well. Uh, so you got your text, uh, you just get rid of that for a minute, just click the tick, and make a cube. And, um, you have these little yellow squares on the cube, you can drag out to um, change the scale. Make it quite thin, well, about like that, and then just drag it out along the f your floor that you want to crack. There we go. So make sure it's underneath the floor and drag your texture onto the cube. Click the texture, change your um, UVW mapping to frontal. So now it's like this. And to get rid of the darkness, Cinema 4D, right click the cube, Cinema 4D tags and compositing. You're going to need to un untick self shadowing and tick compositing background. And there you go, just like that. Um, click on the cube, plugins, thrasy. Make the piece, heighten the pieces quite a bit. Click break now. Depending on how fast your PC is, it could take a while or could be quick, you never know. So um, just let that run through. And once you have that crap, it should, it should be like this. Um, but we don't want it to crack straight away so you click the rigid body tag click um, collision oh sorry dynamics and on trigger click on collision so now look it'll just stay still you're going to need to add um, enable your text drag it up a little bit you're going to need to right click Oh, you're going to need to right click the text, simulation tags, rigid body, and that will trigger immediately so it should fall onto the thoracic and crack the floor. So now it's like that. Um, there's always a problem with my uh, Cinema 4D, I need to add a, a compositing tag again and untick and tick what I told you to do before. So if you play that now it should be cracked like that. Oh, um another problem. If you add um a texture to frontal, the texture won't move with the objects, but I found a way to sort that out. You open through our size so you can see all the pieces, press shift on the top one, scroll right down to the bottom, select that, so it's got them all selected right click generate UVW coordinates so now when you do it your texture should move like so there you go um, also you need to get rid of the white bit so you can I'll put all this in a, like a little zip file so you can download it use it for yourself, I have a mud image somewhere I need to use the darken that down take off specular map so now it should be like this 
and then you can simply add a light drag that up a bit and with the light you want to click it go to shadow shadow map soft so you'll see now it's just makes it look that much but a little bit nicer so you can see the cracks in the ground um, yeah you're best off making the text a bit bigger really and stuff play about with it there you go add some depth scale it up a little bit and look sometimes you get a problem like this but um, there's ways to play it. You can side it out, use Twix and stuff like that to slow it down, or you could just simply block it out with another, like a, a plane. It's not hard. Not really hard to figure out yourself, yeah. So um, that's a fairly simple trick that I taught myself, really. Found it out, thought it looked pretty cool. And um, thought I'd share it, so yeah, there you go. Thanks, this is my first tutorial as well. Make sure you sub and check out all my videos.